Shiggity check, one, two. Carson? Jack. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, God. Damn, turn me down. Mm. First one there. There you go. That's beautiful right yeah. there. Jesus, that was loud. What's up? All right, we can start recording now. This is the Eric and Carson show. Scooter's joining us. And what up? Now is completely officially part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. As of probably 45 minutes ago, when did I call let's, you? Let's give the uh, let's sco- give Scooter the floor, Carson. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So what happened to Scooter today? Uh, I was talking on the phone, and I had another phone call coming in, and I'm like, man, who's this number? I never recognized it. Well, it happens to be our old boss's number. Who has uh, been taken over by another gentleman? I won't name names as of yet. Our old boss's number? Oh, as in like the extension? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's from the office of the program director at uh, WWBN in Flint. Banana one hundred one point five. Uh, and it was just calling to tell me that I'm no longer, I guess. Why don't you tell an the whole, asset? No, no. Tell the whole story. Yeah. Tell what happened. You get the call. Yeah, and uh, it's this gentleman on the phone who is now the. Well, we got it. The fill-in PD. Yeah, we got well, he's, it. He's the PD. Is yeah. Tony Labrie. And I Tony know, Labrie, yeah. And there's absolutely no reason to not say the name. This is a decision that was made. And, you know, it, if you're telling this situation, you were you were a, uh, a part-time employee. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're sitting in the room with two people that are outside of their... Uh, out, we are both outside of any kind of a yeah. non-disparagement non, uh, clause. I, I got a fucking interview at Family Video tomorrow, okay? I don't think the radio <laughs> industry gives a shit about me. And, and so, I mean, so you're basically... You, you can talk about it. And and you know, I don't necessarily think that you're impugning anyone. No. Right. I, we, I, you know, we might go on to you know question the decision, but I think that you should to give all the information and give it honestly so that everybody can understand what's happening. Um, should I should I back sell it a little bit Do, as far as or when I set it up? What, what let's let's um you know what actually how about this? Just I'm just tra- story. Well, there's not much to tell on the phone conversation, but it was more leading up to like when I was going to get canned. Let me do let me do this. Let me let me do it this way, Carson. Uh, you and I. Uh, decided that um, because Scooter was actually uh, somebody who was working as an intern on our afternoon. You worked on the right. Show. I, I started in 2005 as an intern for uh, Lefty at the time, yes. who was a great friend of everybody here. Yeah. Um, and I've worked my way up as far as you know in the promotions department as an intern, as filing paperwork, to joining the show with you guys as an intern back on the night show yeah. three years ago. And then when we, when we moved to afternoons, we decided that we wanted to do stuff that was so different that Carson and I made the decision that we needed to have um, you know, extra people. And, right. and, and it, we decided that we would just have interns that would like that would do things. Now, Scooter was among three of, in, uh, of interns that we had at the time. Yep. Um, one of them was Josh Holloman, who uh-huh. now who still works at the radio station. The other one was, uh, was Chief, who went on to uh, do a show with Maggie on US 103. Yep. You, and, then, and then it was you. And you were the only one out of that particular group that stayed on through the entire uh, duration of mm-hmm. the show. And, uh, Which eventually made him into producer, and then he started getting paid. Yeah, because well, we decided that he was yeah. a producer, and yeah. and w- and with that, and with your producer b- being a producer, which I uh, now I'm going to tell everybody, Scooter was only getting paid a uh, one hour, one hour a day, yep. one hour a day. So basically, for his contribution for uh, for well over. At least six hours of work every single day, he was compensated for basically what was it? Five dollars and seventy five cents before taxes, right? Or was no, it was a little bit more than that, but it was it was a minute. Let's just like say seven fifty. I was That's going minimum in the wage. Yeah, I was going in the hole every time I showed up to work. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Now you did it. Uh, one of the one of the one of the things that made this job attractive is that you basically got to learn a lot of different aspects of radio. Right. It was. It was. And I, I would say that when you join the show, it wasn't necessarily that you guys were dicks or, you know, it well, was, it, it, you just us. had to raise the bar as far as yes. you yeah. expected each other, as far as yourselves, to step it up. And right. I knew I had to step it up. Right. And it was, it was more of, you know, I went from the shyest kid in the world that Carson was pulling his ear saying, you, you know, you're a big eared freak. Yeah. Right. To, you know, I had a step outside of my bubble everybody that did work on the show had to do it yeah and i think you know when you started at that station if you were associated with you guys you were almost black sh- like the black sheep yeah you were. it was weird well uh, that went away on afternoons though really yeah did. i was gonna say we were kind of like our own elite thing there at the station we kind of did what we want and we were able to do what we want and you know we had a lot of backing there when we worked there so i think though when we left i think anybody that was associated with the show when we left automatically was a black sheep. Yes, when you guys got fired, I was black 
I was the, black, I was blacklisted from the management staff. Right. Yeah, like like as soon as you guys were fired, I went up there to talk with Brian at the time, who was still working there, who was still working there at the time, and my number was gone. I couldn't get in the building. All right. They, they, they washed you out. And it, Brian had to fight for me to keep me on staff as far as, you know, I still did a lot of uh, stuff for, like, promotion-wise and stuff like that. Yeah, well, what happened was is that when we got eliminated, the producer of the Eric and Carson show position also was eliminated. Right, yep. by so, default. So, so what wound up happening was... Uh, is that you were on a payroll yet not receiving any pay? You didn't. No. Get, you didn't get any hours. I was on. I was officially put on payroll previously to working for you guys as a paid producer. Yeah. I was still producing, but I was never paid. But I was put on the payroll as a convenience factor for when we would do a remote broadcast that was done through the payroll system where you'd receive right. a check and we're getting probably a little, yeah, a little in depth. Uh, but it's but basically that you weren't really receiving any money. No. However, for Let's see. What'd you, when'd you say you joined? I joined the show in two, 2006. 2006. So for two years... Uh, the, About six months after I started working at the station. So for two years, um, we, uh, the, the company invested to, uh, you know, s- at least a modicum of money in you. Uh, so that you would learn how to do promotions, you knew how right. to help out on marketing. Four you, years as of last December. You knew how if 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 there if there was a problem at the station, mm-hmm. you were available to be called and go in there. I was con- I consider myself the most well-rounded intern yeah. slash really underpaid employee at the station. I could do I can do about everything there. And and uh, you and you were a, and you were actually getting extremely good when I was when we, Carson and I were go- were let go at production. Yeah, mm-hmm. to the point where. The stuff like the gay list opener was actually the, the your, gay list opener, the show your, opener, yeah, any kind of you know loading of audio, yeah, you, sweepers, commercials, you name it. You actually and the, and the Eric and Carson moments that aired all throughout the day. Yep. Scooter got to the point where and and we and you know one of the one of my faults as a as an as a person that works on the radio is I'm a horrific control freak, right? But and I and and I started giving up some of my duties to mm-hmm. you because yeah, I trusted you. Both did. you. Because I trusted you. And so, yeah, and so did Carson. Well, I, I did it because I was lazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it might have been a trust thing with him. He just didn't want to work. Uh, but, so, what, you could do it? Pff, okay, yeah. that'll work for me. Eric's okay with it? Well, I guess I won't. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I only have to go, <laughs> yeah. I only do it. Yeah, I only have to go record my voice and you can do everything else. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Terrific. Awesome. That was really a nice fucking... Yeah. That was really nice that helped. Though. That happened. Yeah. Yeah. But, trust. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Trust. But yeah, it's so like you had... Just a lot of skill. You had a lot of. You, 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 by the time I by the time I walked out of there, I really did feel like you were you were damn good at what mm-hmm. you were doing. Yeah. You, I mean, you actually got. Uh, here's another interesting thing. Uh, you got the mayor on and and came in and we were the only and when, all the candidates too. When the, when the mayor and came, the, uh, the the governor would be too. The, when the and Jim Brewer and Jim Brewer and and he got these people in. Twice and didn't and it wasn't a phone interview. The the mayor of Flint, uh, who is now non, the, no longer the mayor of Flint, Don Williamson, would not come in to radio stations. He would call in. As a mm-hmm. matter of fact, the the morning show on what people were, on on cars went away. He wouldn't come in for that show. He mm-hmm. he called in for that show. Yep. We were the only station in the building that I, the, we were the only show I should say in, in the, Flint in the, in Flint that that dude would come in and sit down with. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that was because Scooter was it was getting these people. So you're talking about so so right now I'm selling I I'm I'm putting this out there because I want to make sure that people understand the value that you had at that station for a guy that's willing to work for a dollar for for a couple of bucks a day. Yeah, I mean I you're getting ever a lot since of I've value. worked there like right. I ve- like I grew up listening to the station I grew up listening to you before Carson was involved. Yeah. Only just because you know you can't turn on a station in Flint and get the same kind of product that we that you guys put out. I knew that. Everybody you know the interns that went through us, as far as Josh. Yeah, he was now a great uh, night host. Yeah, um, Joe. Yeah, well, he's afternoon drive. now. He's a, he does afternoon staff. He does afternoon drive, and and so like really, I mean, as an outside observer, you're talking about a guy with a, with a shitload of of, of a skill set, a great skill set, and he's working for next to nothing. So mm-hmm. tell the story. So I get a phone call today from uh, Tony saying, um, you know, there was. Uh, I was brought to my attention that we have some payroll issues. I know that you're still, it looks like you're still on as a paid employee. Um, I'm like, well, yeah, that's more of a convenience issue for, you know, broadcast or something like that. I'm no longer getting paid through the state, the station as far as doing a show or any kind of producing work. And he's like, 
Well, um, well, we have to take you off payroll, and I wanted just to let you know that, and also that I don't think we're going to be needing your services here anymore because we don't really have a place to put you. Okay. So I'm like, to me, it wasn't really a shock anymore. It was yeah. more right. like, you it was more like okay, open the door now. I get to speak freely of what I really think of this shithole. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, it was, it was more like you know, to Tony's not the kind of person that's very you know straightforward. It's more like. You might know he what he doesn't like confrontation. No, and I don't think he likes competition either. Mm. Like you know, Tony. I looked at Tony when I first started at the station as more like a mentor. Like he's been around. And he, you know, from Radio X to now, he's you know there. And I knew him more starting there than I knew you guys. I didn't know you guys at all. I was afraid to pass you guys in the hallway. <laughs> That's right. We're assholes. <laughs> By the way, seeing as the history. For good reason. Maybe you should have hitched your, yourself to the yeah. Tony Wack. No, 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 still fucking be there. I should do a little. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. You bet the. I, I, I want to say that as much as I respect you, Scooter, you did officially bet on the wrong horse. Yes. I know. Big, <laughs> Big Ham was kicking himself in the ass for leaving a year ago. <laughs> God damn it! Oh no, he's still around. Uh, oh, imagine back. that. Back. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Hey, he made. Apparently, he, made the right he knows call. more yeah. about the station and how to you know do things. Of than course. I do. Maybe you know, does. doing Maybe. the music meeting and all. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Who knows? So. Well, you know, it's um. You know, it, obviously, I, I would understand completely, um, you know, how you feel about it. Um, it. To me, I think, you know, obviously, I don't I don't begrudge, you know, a program director on any on any radio station, the, uh, uh, you know, the decisions they make. I mean, you, I mean, obviously, he's going to make a decision. He's going to make a business decision. Yeah. So like, but the, my question is this is, well, uh, let me just say this. Did you ever approach Tony and ask him if he would if. If you could, you know, help out. Did you ever? Oh, offer? many times. Really? What happened? Um, when we had the whole complication with the banana website, no, or the MySpace not longer being, you know, the official MySpace. I, Which I is so funny. Go ahead. I offered my services on, you know, because I'm pretty internet friendly. I can't tell you. Go ahead. I'm pretty internet friendly on this, you know, creating MySpaces. I, I ran, you, you know, ran the, ours. the podcast mm -hmm. and stuff like that on yeah, the banana, did. the official banana website. You did, yeah. And updating pictures and stuff official. like that. And remember, Carson. Official. Uh, now, Carson, you, you, you may forget this, but you. you I who, forget a lot of things, who, Eric. <laughs> when we. It's all a bad dream. I'm trying to forget it all. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get to the point where I don't ever remember being in radio. But, that way, it doesn't hurt. Oh, come on. Working now. at Family Video so much. Uh, but remember when we remember when we had the web meetings and we were talking about how we were going to develop our web content. Who it was? Yeah, you, what a dumb move that ended up being. It was yeah, right. <laughs> in, in retrospect, it was it was it was it was uh, me, you, and who else was in that and fucking scooter? Room? Scooter was. Yep. So you were actually involved in developing the real web solutions for that company. Right. And did anyone remember that? No. No. Okay. Just out of, I I don't know. So, but all I'm saying is, and I'm not necessarily saying that you know a person who's a program director can't choose who they want to have and who they don't want to have around. But I would just like to point out that I think it's a pretty interesting business decision to say that there's a person that's willing to work for such with 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 the skill that you have that's willing to work for such a small amount of money, and that seems like the kind of thing that they don't necessarily. Well, hell, I was even offering you know my services. You know, I made a few attempts to you know either do production work or. You know, basically, be an intern again, just because I love working in radio. So you, so you were, you were doing, you actually did some production work for them. Did you put that down as hours? No. Really? No. So you were, you were working. No. For free. When let's just say that when there was a changeover of hands and as far as the management staff up there, uh -huh. I offered my services. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm. I'm Why wouldn't you? I, I just would, because I would if I were you in your position. Just because Absolutely. I'm friends yeah. and still currently friends with you know who was eliminated from that position. Yeah, doesn't mean that my loyalties or my ethics change as far as my work. Right. And right. by the fact that somebody would believe that mm -hmm. or assume that, I, I, I know you. They're would. fucking stupid. Thank you. Uh, and I and I agree. I, and I actually pointed that out to this gentleman. You did yeah. on the phone. No, I did that in person when he wouldn't take his damn eyes off the computer screen to look at me. <laughs> That's low. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's it's. A, I, I think it's a strange decision, um, <laughs> to say the least. I, I would like to say that person is a fucking idiot <laughs> based on this one move. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's about what I got to say about that. Yeah, well, that's interesting. I, I, I'm sorry, man. I just don't understand that. It's like, well, you work for them. Obviously, you're like, what What the fuck he thinks you're going to do? Like, drive out to the tower basically, and fucking I, sabotage the radio station because we're not on there? Yeah, basically. Yeah, that would really do great wonders for your career. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I, you know, I give up. It's just retarded. You, you basically lose all respect for your business smarts when you start getting rid of people that are not your friends and are more yeah. of a value. And work for free. And yeah. work for free yeah. versus somebody that will come in and play three songs during uh, one show and, and, suck, and does and, nothing. And, and kiss your ass. Or that doesn't know how to do anything. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're absolutely I mean, right. You're making right. – that, bring it. that into the, you know, the weekly business meeting. I fire, you know, the valuable people and I keep her on the fucks. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you, obviously, you know, you didn't kiss ass right. No, I, mean, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, and I don't kiss ass. You know, I think my work should at, stand out for me. Well, it should, but it doesn't in this situation. And, well, you know, I think you know, anybody that, that knows Rachel that Crumble situation. Oh, oh, God, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's. And this is and, and this is obviously the emotional side of it. There, I mean, you're going to say, I mean, you're going to feel hurt by that. And I, yeah. that's fine. And I, I don't think I don't think anybody would ever have a problem with you saying that it was that you don't uh, appreciate uh, being treated like that. And, you know, me personally, I mean, again, I'll say it. Uh, you know, Tony's the goddamn promo, uh, the program director there, so mm-hmm. he can make he can make calls. He can do what he wants. He can do what he absolutely this fucking wants. Station. But you know, I would I would say that just as a person who's um, you know who is now you know featured in radio columns and you know people th- people ask me for advice all the time because I am <laughs> who I am. Um, do you- <laughs> True. Wow. Anybody smell that bullshit on the internet? <laughs> Shut up. We're trying to get a job, jackass. It's all true. Yeah. It's all very, very true. You know, I. You know, I'm just point. I would just say that it just seems to me, just as a person looking as again, I'm not completely, uh, you know, innocent of having emotions towards them. No. You know, but at the same time, you know. Uh, you know, I'll, I gotta say though, you know, every once in a while, you know, what you gotta. What the fuck are you trying to say? For God's sake, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping around a little bit. Jesus, but I will say that when we were, um, when when we were there, like, and when before, up until September 16th, mm-hmm. we were well fucking taken care of. Oh yeah, we asked, yeah. we asked Zoe for you, mm-hmm. and she got it done. Yeah, and you know that's so. But the thing about that is, I mean, you you can have so much leeway when you want. You you're not demanding anything, but you ask for it. And there was never a situation where we asked for something and we didn't produce from it. Yeah, yeah. Right. If we got what we asked for, then, you know, it, it helped. And I'll give them credit. We never they, did get that damn 360 machine, but we, whatever. We never did. No. And then we never did, but, but we did get uh, But that, fuck, they gave us that. Uh, I wonder what ha- I wonder whatever happened to our, our, per, our show digital camera. And if uh, anybody knows and if there's a theft, then I really would be scared. <laughs> and the, I, it's no, still there? I don't know. I bet it's still on the bottom of that fucking filing cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, if you open that so drawer to way, your right hand, the Tony, yeah. there's a camera down there that you probably yeah. don't know because you don't open the drawer. And it's a really nice and camera. It's really nice. It is nice. It, it, was t- it took movies. It was really I nice. Know. And and they bought it for us because we asked yeah. for it. And, you know, so I can't say. So while we were there, I'd say that we were very well taken care yeah, of. Absolutely. And I haven't wor- I, and I have not worked for Region Communications since September 16th, so I don't know what they're up to. Nope. So there you go. That, that's that's the best way I'll put it. And Tony's the program director right there. He can make any fucking decision he wants. And that's you, it. as an employee of his that just got fired, can be Every bit as pissed as you want to be, and that's well, fine. That's absolutely fine, and uh, no one's going to begrudge. I'm a big fan of karma. I think it's going to come back and bite them all in the ass. Okay, inc- including the Christian bitch in the corner. Ooh, ow! Ooh, preach on, brother. I won't. I won't. I can't. I can't preach go with you on that. But that's it. But that's your opinion, and that's absolutely completely fine to express. Mm-hmm. Um. So anyway, so what were you, you were about to say something when we were up to do? I thought. No. No. Now. I got nothing. We got big news on this radio on this uh, radio podcast here. Do we? Oh Eric, my god! Eric's been published, bitch. I have been published. That is actually big news. No, I, I don't. I don't know if anyone cares about that. Actually, I was more going for your news, my friend. Oh yeah, I What's got a, your news. Got a job interview tomorrow at the family video. Hell yeah! All right, buddy. I cannot imagine. Like if I was Carson, what a job! <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's perfect. Th- that's so fucking perfect. I just I, I, it for just, you. It just sucks that you know. You go from making decent money in radio, and now you're like, I'm not even going to make enough to fucking barely cover rent. Did dude. you ask, like, and in this, the interview process, how many free movies you could get before did, you asked about did, your wage? Did you hear what this idiot just asked? What? Did you ask in the interview process when I just announced that the interview is tomorrow? No, jackass. Oh. I did not get in my you time you, machine and hey, fast forward to it. Listen here, you son of a bitch. You hey, said that you already went that, in and talked to that, him. Uh, yeah, as in putting in my application and oh. saying, can I get an interview? He, he didn't. He, he wasn't friends with Doc Brown. Just Jesus. Out of nowhere, and then they yeah. Just <laughs> Back to the future. One point twenty one gigawatts. Yeah. There was no, there was no one point twenty one gigawatts of power. I mean, that little, that little fifty's fast. Not that fast. The only thing is, it bolts a lightning. <laughs> a what? Lightning. A what? And unfortunately, we do not know where and when that's going to happen. Yes, we do. <laughs> that, that, oh, I love that scene because it's just so fucking eighties. Yeah. He pulls out the, he pulls out the article, the flyer. The flyer. We do now. <laughs> With, with what's her face's number on the back, saying, "Call me, I'll be at grandma's." Yeah, 
<laughs> Call me, I'm a dirty whore. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Jennifer. Mm. Yeah, so no, she I have switched, a... It's different actress. And, 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 did you ever notice that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's All different right. actress between the first one and the second one. Apparently mm-hmm. because... She, apparently... Because the because the actress from the first one, her mother got sick yeah. or something like that, and that's fucking Elizabeth Shue. And not to go like too far off topic, but he actually stumped me in some trivia knowledge yeah. on uh, Back to the Future. It was actually what's his face that was the original Marty McFly. Oh, it was um, it was the guy. Eric Stoltz was the original yeah. Marty yeah. McFly. Yeah, I knew yeah. that. Eric I'd fucking, known that. And you can find pictures on the yeah. internet of him playing Marty McFly. Yeah, yeah. and, he, and it, like it was like a lot darker. He's like a, like he played it like a, like a dark skater kid, not really funny in any stretch of the imagination. It, so apparently that's why they got rid of him. Is they actually shot the whole fucking movie? Eric Stoltz. There's right. a couple apparently Delorean scenes, right? Where he's where Eric Stoltz is driving the car. Nice. Uh, yeah, in the first one. Interesting. Nice yeah. that. But uh, no, I have less shaking involved. I have not been. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't been in the future to ask him how many free movies I get. Okay, so uh, I'll see, be sure and ask him that if I get if I get the job. But I was gonna say, Carson, you know, I mean, yeah, you may, you, you might be making less money unless unless it works out. I don't, wait, wait. Well, apparently they're hiring a counter person and a manager person. So we'll I'm go, hoping, we'll I'm shoot away right for the top. That's what I'm hoping for is the manager. Like I've watched job. half of these movies. I that's know what, what I'm to saying. Do. That right. that and he has been you know like, a person who's yeah. been responsible. For, I used for to a staff. fucking give the intern schedules. Yeah. Back when you were an intern and fucking before you started taking that shit, another one of my jobs you took over, mm-hmm. uh, making intern schedules and you know we I've trained quite a few interns. Yes, but yeah. before that, I freaking oh God, ran, I ran a whole devil. damn race team. Huh? I said he was the devil. The devil is the devil with details. I've, everybody that would start <laughs> on the show, yeah. would either come up to me and be like, "Which one's the worst?" Because I hear. <laughs> It's Eric, and I'm like, oh no! I'm like, yes, it's Eric. <laughs> and then yeah. you just to be a fucking blindside. Yeah. What the fuck's my coffee? Yep. <laughs> that was great on the air. Everybody, everybody thought Eric was the worst. Yeah. And, and no. if you listen to the show, you you, you know he Eric was. Eric would be the one that would but sit him down, as, unless it was like as, involved like Crystal. Yeah. As and soon then as he would just run her. As soon as the run. mics were off, man, I was just I was I was torturous to them guys. It, yeah. Actually, when the mics were but, off. I was usually the one going like, I really appreciate your contribution. I think that you're really improving this. Yeah. You should probably do all these kind of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, but I I will I will take you to task on one thing though. Carson may have been a little bit more aggressive with 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 some interns. If but but mad, the, uh, the you didn't want me. It was I was much worse. Mad. Oh yeah, if you oh, ever yeah. pissed him off, it, it was game I over. I mean, you're fucking it was I, game I, over. Because I mean, you'd scream at somebody, but then you just kind of would just kind of. I'd be over it, and like after I yelled at him, you, you'd usually either either that or you kind of go into a cocoon and just kind of not talk to them. I would. Yeah. I, I'd insult your mother, yeah. how you were born, and exactly, <laughs> and, and, and walk him to the back stuff. W- walk him to the back. Uh, the, yeah, Crystal. I walked. I said, get the. F- Fuck out of here! I go home. I don't want to see you here. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, when they weren't doing it fast, yeah, when, when she wasn't moving fast enough because she was crying. So I stood next to her, going, "Come on, come on, we're going to the back door." <laughs> yeah, I remember that. God, that because it was but fun. That sucked because that most of those occurrences always happened during the night show, so it wasn't really business hours yeah. where like uh-uh. the sales staff could get a you know a viewing of that. Uh-uh. Oh, could you imagine? Had they oh, seen that, that was great. Like, Mm. Eric's mean. <laughs> and by the way, fuck these inspirational posts. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But are plastered everywhere right now. Oh, you take good. them and go wipe your ass with them. Yeah, I feel like you're in fucking elementary school again. Uh, you know, hang a, in a there success, with a kitten. Yeah, a I was hanging business, on a line. A successful business does not need that fucking no. poster staring me, no. at me over the toilet. No. You know what? You know what? Really? A, you yeah. Know, oh, the fuck! They're everywhere. You know what a successful business needs that they don't have? Profit margin. <laughs> what the? I was going to go with the male GM. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, sorry. Wow. Sorry. Just jokes, y'all. Son of a bitch. My, my wound's still bleeding Let me a show little you something. bit. something. Just to the camera. These hands don't have a dump button. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can be said. <laughs> Eric and Carson are available. Eric is interviewing. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's scared about this right now, but it's okay. <laughs> they, they, they love me. I'm fine. But are anyway. you gonna talk about that on the podcast? Um, you know, I not until I get hired. I think. Oh, okay. Because to me, we'll I, just say you're going out for a job. Yeah, I'm interviewing. Yeah, when, I like when those you, people. When, They're really when, nice. When is your interview anyway? I've oh, I've, had, I've had it done. I've actually. Did That's why I thought you did an interview and you did the testing and. You know, I'll talk about that. I, I um. 
Oh yeah, the personality test. Did you do that? Yes, I did. Did you fail? No. Damn uh, it. I don't. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I may have. Turns I, out he has one. I had five bucks. Says he'd fail. I, it. I don't know. Actually, the I, uh, I I think I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to find out from him like Thursday. Oh, by the way, I really uh, the people over there. I really like them. They're they're really nice people. Well, I figured. I, I I was um I was very impressed. I didn't see anybody that's ever worked with us though. That was the really? odd part. yeah. I don't. I, maybe there huh. was. Maybe there's somebody that I haven't bumped into yet. But I really thought that there'd be at least a couple of people who I'd work with there. But now it. It's all fresh, apparently. Now, best I can tell, if you went to work at a banana and then lost your job, you're pretty much out of radio forever. <laughs> really? But best I, I think there's been like two succeed yeah. from banana. And so I'd be the first one. <laughs> well, left, lefty made it, but he's not really he's in not the radio. radio. Uh, and then there's Chili, but he's out of work right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Ken Black. Now we're talking nope, strictly Garrett, fire. Nope. Uh, let's well, see. Garrett quit. Garrett quit. Kim Black got fired. Both of them's out of radio. Mm-hmm. Chiefs out of radio. Um, wow. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, Mandy Martin. But she did traffic. She's doing oh, a she's morning show now. She's kicking ass. She's doing a morning show. She's now. kicking ass up there at IOG. I mean, really doing well. Maybe they need I got, a third God person. Bless her. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Can you can you can, you, can your pride deal with being a stunt boy again? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for love you love your show. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I need a fucking job. She's kicking ass up there. She really. I mean, look, I Mr. Published over here is going to get a fucking radio job. Me and you are still going to be fighting for that grass cutting job. <laughs> it's all right. I'll, I'll come see you once a week and run a movie. Yeah, there That's we cool. go. Yeah. That'd be fun. But no, the. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I was taking the. Uh, it was kind of. Um, it was kind of funny because uh, I went in there and I take this personality exam. They just kind of. They just kind of took me right in there and, you know, I, I took it. Um, but it was so. Uh, it was. No, so, is it one of those personality tests where it's like. In the situation you find a stray cat, do you A, kick, kick it, it. <laughs> <laughs> return it to its rightful owner, something like that, or is it like, um, kick it? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, yeah, a little bit of that, but a lot of it, but, but in, not so much kittens, but more in a business sense. Oh, okay. You know, oh, it was yeah. kind of like Because I've taken those ethics once shit before. Like huh? Like ethics and shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And it's, uh, it, was, it was kind of interesting, and I, I thought <laughs> it was kind of a cool thing for the, I mean, I don't when, know. When you get paid by a client, do you A, turn it in? <laughs> <laughs> B, B pocket the money. Remember the woman that did that? Oh yeah, she well she turned half of it in. Yeah, she would sell stuff for like a grand and write up write it up for like seven hundred, pocket three hundred of yeah, it. Yeah, that was a, that. Sh- she worked at Regent. Yeah, uh, but that no, she but got I, caught up though. Yeah, it did. They found her, and she was she was coming. At, she was the one that came after us too. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's uh-huh. like, yeah, it was kind of funny. But now that's yeah. that that's but yeah, that I was taking the personality exam, and there was like and and like out of nowhere, apparently there are people there that really do know who I am and know of my career. I guess. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, well, uh. You, you know, well, you know how it is, Carson. Come on, you don't really think about it in those terms. Now, have you actually walked the halls? No, I the I kind because of, that's when you're really gonna start getting the looks from everybody. Well, like, the, I, like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> their uh, their afternoon. Sh- uh, the guy that. Uh, uh, the guy that does afternoons there, and I'm I'm saying too much, but the guy that works that do, does afternoons there, he actually um, uh, he came up to me at a bar uh, a couple days ago, and he was just like he was just like oh my god, he goes I just I I just want to say you know a you you and Carson did a fantastic show, you guys absolutely kicked ass. Happy that you're out of afternoons because it was. Uh, oh yeah. Because he goes, he goes, you guys really kicked ass, and I'm like, yeah, you know. And then I was thinking, I said, hey, I'm actually, you know, interviewing to join you guys, and he was just like, well, he was like, well, that'd be great, that'd be a lot of fun, and he seemed like a really cool dude. I don't know, it's just like I, I, I you know. But anyway, so I was taking the personality test, and like I kept hearing my name whispered, like, oh and, yeah, and, I, and I'm like, yeah. it was so fucking distracting because I just kind of like I hear Eric. Yeah. Oh shit. And then yeah. like I'd have to read it again just because yeah. I forgot the question. Then I'm like, what? Oh, oh. oh kick it. Oh yeah. no, that's not what I wanted. No, to God do. damn it! I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't want to kick kittens. I like kittens. I have two of them. I want to strangle them. I don't want to kickle them. Yeah, kick, I want to throw it off your belt. Kickle them. Kickle. Is that a tickle with a kick? Oof. Tickle. Kickle with a pickle. Ooh, I suck. Let's let's go. Let's, go. Wah, wah, wah. let's take a break on this, and then we'll. Uh, okay. I want to talk about job interviews. Okay. Uh, we'll talk. That okay. Next. Uh, right. play, can we play music? Check out my check check out my column on radio slash radio hyphen info dot com. <laughs> 